got kind of a surprise scene with Jahani because she knew some guy that was working here at the mines, which was interesting. I don't know what, th I don't really know what to make of that. That's a cat? Oh, it's the rat one. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Because CM always uses the rat one. Yes, pillage some mummy tombs. Hey, do we want to change my party at all? Do you guys have any requested party members that we bring? I have to bring Karth. I don't know how difficult these tombs are going to be. Like, I probably want to keep another Jedi in the party. But we could risk it. We could risk it. Maybe bring out, maybe bring out, uh, Candorous. Maybe bring out Jolie. Me always trying to make an excuse to, to bring out Candorous, too. We can't bring Bastila, so if we're gonna bring Jedi, we really have Jahani or Jolie. You soloed them. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet you did. I bet you did. I bet you did. Okay, Palpatine. <laughs> um... Okay, well, let's, let's get rid of Jahani for a minute since she had her special reveal already. Let's bring Candace for a little bit. And if that's... Wait, I need to get your... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to do something here. No, no, not T3, sorry. <laughs> I need to get HK. Because HK, you have Candace's weapon. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, you have Candace's weapon. Which, like, fine, but I kind of want that. I kind of want Candorous to have that. Look at this sneaky maneuvering I'm doing. Do it. Do it. T3, let's go! T3 has been very neglected my playthrough. Remember when you guys were flaming me? I was like, what if I choose T3 to do the rescue mission? And then Renaticus was like, well, I don't know. Maybe you would have known what T3 does if you ever... <laughs> if you ever brought T3 anywhere. So I leveled up his gun. So that's why I kind of want him to use it. What are you wearing for armor? You're wearing Mandal- Oh, of course you're wearing Mandalorian armor, but do we have something better? We could put you in Davix. Should we put- oh, Can I take off the Mandalorian armor off him though? Or is that just cruel? I feel like we have to leave it on, but I kind of want to see what Davix purple armor looks like on you. So let's check that out. Oh my god, he's cosplaying as Karth. Oh, they've, they've, they've switched places, you guys. This is just wrong. This is like, this is, this is what Candace used to look like and this is what Karth used to look like. Okay, that's awkward. We're gonna put you back in the Mandalorian armor because I can't handle that. I really, really can't handle that, so. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> That's my reaction. Okay, that's better. That's better. I can tolerate this. Although Karth still- it weirds me out that Karth is not wearing... Um... <gasps> Wait! Candorous has gotten less evil! Am I imagining that? Or was he always only a little bit Sith? He's like barely in the red. He's like up to his thigh. Pretty sick fight, too. I know. I hope we can do it. I ha I've been running the Jedi team for a long time. I haven't had these boys out in the field together. So I don't know how we're going to do with the blaster team. And me me carrying the Jedi. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, so... Let's try. HK needed a droid he <laughs> could argue with. Uh, which tomb should we go into first? Any uh, suggestions? I like- I miss Karth in his pretty boy phase. He's- he's a little bit edgier these days. Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still it. a piece of garbage. Almost two years. OMG, pog, pog, pog. Pog, pog, pog! Good long arm! Thank you! 
Excuse me, 23 centuries? How? How? Where did the time go? Where, 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 where? How? Two, two years almost? Two years? Thank you for the support. I appreciate it so much. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. That is wild. The two lock horde is a good first tomb. Okay. Let me, I'll, should I trust you guys? Two lock. Our options are two lock horde. This one seems like it's like the really hardcore one. Nagasato. Marka Ragnos. And Ajunta Paul. So this one has some kind of sword artifact or something in it too. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, but if you say two lock hordes is a good starting, I'll trust you. I'll trust. I trust. Do I trust chat? <laughs> oh, and also last time we um, betrayed our fellow Sith student and she she wasn't going to give me credit. So then, well, I didn't betray her. I helped her. Then she was going to run off and get credit for herself, or at least I thought she was. So we ended up killing her. Um, so in case anyone loved that NPC, I'm sorry. She's gone. And now we're gonna raid some tombs. What are we looking for? Oh yeah. Prestige to level up in the Sith Academy. Artifacts to level up in the Sith Academy. I don't know what kind of side quests I have. I forget. Uh, you've been told about a mad hermit in the hills surrounding the Valley of the Dark Lords. Apparently this hermit is the former master of the Academy, Jorak Ulm, who was forced into exile from Master Uthar. Okay. Dealing with him might be worthy of prestige. So we might run into them. I don't know what else. Gain prestige. Uh, oh, I forgot. We got this spice quest. Red 47. That's the key. You'll go kill stuff. You'll figure it out. Okay. That works for my brain. <laughs> That works for me. I hope we can kill stuff, you guys. I'm a little bit worried about this team. This droid is damaged and inactive. Re reactive, but not this. I have 57 repair parts. You know what? Might as well. Might as well. Five repair parts? I got so many repair parts. Cool. I optimized this droid. I got some XP. No, stop! Don't go over the mine! Yeah? Should I make Candor's? No, Karth, you have the- Ready. Nice. See, that didn't even hurt him. That did not even hurt him. He's invincible. Except when it comes to his son. Tukata? Oh yeah, these guys. Nice! So the thing is, I'm gonna have to rely on myself for healing and... Oh! What? Excuse me. The ceiling's falling down there. Don't walk there. I'm gonna have to rely on myself for healing and Jedi support things, which is a little bit... A little bit risky. Shire. When did you get here? I could get used to this, you know. Mel, no, what better way to celebrate eight incredible months than to be in the climax of Kotor, endlessly rooting for you and all of the love for your community. Less Thank than three. you, Brave Athos. Hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for the eight months. What the heck? You're so sweet. Let's go. You guys are too nice to me. Some of you are bad, but. I'm, I love this game so much. It's been so much fun. 
Look at us go! <sighs> I'm so proud of us. Remember back on like Dan Tuin, how much we sucked, you guys? And like one of you guys would always have to carry the fight after everyone died? And look at us now. I can't do it. I'm not gonna have. You asked for this! <laughs> Damn it. No! Don't worry, I'll heal you. Totally did that for you, not me. Corpse. I could get Are used these Mandalorians? to this, you know? Don't let those edgy Siths turn you to the dark side. <laughs> I love the edgy Siths, though! Thank you so much for the Prime sub, boing! I'm so glad you've been part of the community. Thank you so much for the support. I, I mean, I started going to the dark side when I watched Clone Wars and saw Darth Maul. I'm like, okay, the dark side doesn't have a lot to offer. And then I saw Darth Maul in Clone Wars. I was like, what more could you ask for, actually? Like, if he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> If he came to me and was like, oh, be my apprentice, help me take down Palpatine, I'd be like, I've been waiting. Oh, this cute little droid. Look at this. I remember Candorous soloing the named Mandalorian. Yes, that's what it was! <laughs> on on Dantooine. He's no longer profitable! Oh my god, and the Hondo! Hey, try, try again. I love this. I love this so much, you guys. This effort. Thank you so much, Igloo, for starting the pillow train. You guys are ridiculous. Thank you for the resubs and the subs and the bits. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Candorous was soloing the named Mandalorian. That's what I'm saying. Like, look how far we've come. And my character can actually hit things now. Like, I'm able to do this. Well, I shouldn't speak too soon, but so far this me being the only Jedi in the party, like we're doing well. And then back on, um, even before Dantooine when Candor's had to solo everything, it was Karth. Like with Brezik's lieutenants, that was Karth. <laughs> Iceman, 10 year old kid and accidentally broke his knee. The doctors had to perform emergency kidney replacement. Kidney. Excuse me. <laughs> Are we coming to the best dark side? Well, I was just talking about how sexy Darth Maul is. So, you know. There's always a little bit of dark side lurking there. Actually, what is my what is my alignment right now? Oh, I think I'm as light side as I've ever been right now. Maybe I've been a little bit. I'm up to the boobage, boobage level. In light side, okay, Karth, you know what to do. Uh huh. You know what to do. Oh, that barely hurt you. Mm -hmm. See, he's gonna run into it anyway. What's this about, about? Anytime someone says, what's this about? I just hear it in the voice of the Morrowind guards. But yeah, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. We're just getting into KOTOR actually. We watched the Blackwall romance tonight and I already searched that. Hello. Displace of these. Look how powerful I am. Time to rumble! Time to rumble! When did you know that you wanted to romance Karth? Well, it was when I heard his really cheesy, really cheesy battle dialogue ancient console that looks I don't know about that I feel like that's gonna be a test or a puzzle and a <laughs> hey there's more Mandalorian armor maybe that's better than yours oh by the way in my YouTube I'm in my <laughs> you're up to blow no not blow wall again <laughs> No, 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 that's curse. Leave it, leave that to die. Okay, that's a plus zero. Oh, in my YouTube video for the Candorous 
duel. I called it I, in my title. I put can daddy just for you guys. <laughs> Yeah. It was when she murdered his son. That's when I knew he was the one. That's when I knew. The best reaction I've gotten. Wait, what does that mean? Was that to your pun? System online. Great. Please don't make me do a puzzle. Access door number 44. Closed. Open the door. Well, this is weird. Opening access door number 44. Okay. Weird. Okay, maybe I was a little bit too paranoid. Is it gonna close behind me? <laughs> I feel like I need to do a new save. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Door. Mysterious. Don't trust KOTOR. Never trust KOTOR. Well, that, that holds up. <laughs> idiotic student that holds up! That life. holds up! The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Are you like... Welcome. A dark spawn? Awake you... already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horn, if you know. Yeah, I saw that. I've taken up residence here for now. Is this the old master? Who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier you should know well enough. Oh, Mikkel, he is hates me. Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name yeah, is. Yeah, this voice is good. Hey, it is him! Academy, so I'm nice! Sure you've heard of me. Do you want to team up? The old hermit in hiding? What? Old hermit? <laughs> Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, Slander. I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned sin. What does that mean, old -fashioned? Most of the dreck Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Is he okay? Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Oh, yeah, sin, he does. I know that. But not the gumption that I'm looking for. Slander! <laughs> what if I told you? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing. What happened to his eyes? Proper sin. Look, I'm sure we could talk about this. I'm sure we could. You could even try using your feminine wiles on me. But quite frankly, I'm quite determined and not above. Whoa! I was not thinking of seducing you. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not about delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. I don't think I... I don't think I stoop that low. This guy is getting, like, dark spawn energy. Um... <laughs> he's, he, wow, he really is a school admin. Oh, no. Yeah, he's like, oh, well, please don't seduce me. Oh my god, I don't know what I would do if this, like, beautiful Sith woman tried to seduce me. I don't know what I would even do. Don't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, Infmed, hello. What if, if I pass your test? Why then you go free? 
his voice is so quiet in comparison to the music. On ancient Sid philosophy. Oh. Based on all I've learned studying two lots too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are set. Okay, well, what is your stupid test? <laughs> Go ahead. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. Come on, I've so been then, through higher education. You can't even I'm hurt me. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. I was in it. it. Right? And I torture Miko. Not the Get torture wrong, thing again. And I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to I be I don't murdered. like him. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. This is so... Like, what's the point? I <laughs> read is basically like this. Yeah, you guys are right. That's exactly the attitude, yeah. What if Mikkel dies? This is completely- this is- this is unfair! It's outrageous! Mikkel is a monster who deserves to die. Kinda true. I kinda wanna say that, but at the same time, I've been so blunt and undiplomatic that I'm like- it would be consistent, but also that's what led to the whole incident with Karth's son. <laughs> um, and tests. I hate writing tests. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't even have to write tests, but the sheer amount of essays that I had to read and grade. Oof. I'm sure it won't happen. <laughs> yeah, why would it? Why would we learn from our mistakes? Just do the same thing. Mikhail's a monster, he deserves that. Honestly, I kind of stand by this, though. I, I, like, I don't feel bad. I, and Karth's passed out, right? He can't hear this. No hesitation before the kill? Now that's what I like to hear. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? <laughs> we could both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? Yay, Nasasu! No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. Okay. Trust you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Uh, I probably love him. Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. I probably love him. <laughs> an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? I kill him in secret. I put the blame on someone else. I do nothing. He's a fine leader. You said he's good for the Sith. You're supposed to say you'd take his position. <laughs> seduce him? <laughs> Can I seduce him and then maybe kill him later? <laughs> it's not an option. You're supposed to say number three. I use the opportunity to kill him and take his position. That's the Sith way. I'm gonna say number two. I do nothing, he's a fine leader. Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well. I'm really intrigued by his eyes. Punishment. It looks like the taint. And so we come nice to round stream. two. You come across a group of humans. I don't know. Who are I might die. Dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? What if I die? I feel like I'm in a character creator scenario, like the Morrowind. Choose your class by answering questions. They're all like scenarios like this. I accept the reward, I assist them, I take the reward and leave the weak fools to their fate. It depends on these people. Are they evil? Are they bad people? I ignore them completely or refuse to answer. I wonder what happens if you refuse to answer. 
He probably just shocks you. Actually, I kind of want to say I refuse to answer at some point to see how he reacts. Like, is he just like, that's the end of the test? Does he just shock you? Because I feel like he can't shock you if his principle is like, you're right or wrong. So I feel like something else has to happen. <sighs> I'm gonna say I refuse to answer just to see what he says. Well, now you're just punishing yourself. Do you really not know the answers here? Shame. At any rate, here is your punishment. Oh, he does just shock you. Let's see. I Hello, Sauce! How are you? It's good to see you. you power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or I might die. I wanted to see what happened if I refused to answer, and then well, apparently he just shocks you. A little bit biased, if you ask me. He could have shocked Mikel. I keep it to myself. I share it. I refuse to answer. Aspect of the Force, it gives you great power. I would keep it to myself because I hate the other Sith. Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share minions. You selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again. It's that time again. <laughs> Still going? All right. Can One you stop asking questions? Mistake, which makes you look bad. <laughs> the Sith are kind of <laughs> like this is just comically evil. You kill him or give him another chance. Major mistake, which looks bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Give him another chance. Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well. Here's yeah, true. Your reward. I might die. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge Sounds like to your salsa. apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? What? This is such a bizarre scenario. Who is ever in this scenario? Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Um, he said I'm about to die. Do you guys think I'll actually die here? Of course I can't ask you. That's what's going through my head right now. I'm like, am I gonna die? Am I not gonna die? Hello, Mr. 2187! Welcome in. I like KOTOR. It's... It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I have found over the last, like, month and a half. Do I pass on my knowledge? How do you pass on your knowledge as you're about to die? I would haunt my apprentice as a force ghost. That's what I would do. Except like in a really troll way. Like I wouldn't give useful advice. I'd just be like, ha ha, you're struggling again. I'd pass on my knowledge. What is that emote salt? Fool. It's a trick question. A true Sith never dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Oh no. Time for your medicine. A true Sith never dies. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. <laughs> I can't believe that was the answer. I suppose this means you can go, Miko. Why is he letting Mikkel go? Run along now. Oh, I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Permanent de This is like a, a parody of... <laughs> Of higher education, literally, is what the Sith Academy is. Like, this is literally just academia. 
Keep him alive, create a perception of incompetence. Send that minion to assassinate someone, they let the guard down and boom, they're dead. Because, Iceman, I think you have gone too far to the dark side. <laughs> hmm, that's the Sith way. An applauding dolphin. Oh, I love that. They are built different! That's so true, I love them. I really thought you would have killed Mikkel. What do you think of me? Honestly, I was just going off vibes there. I wasn't trying to get a particular outcome. I was just... Going off vibes. But yeah, I don't really like Mikkel. Where's... Where's Park? I guess he wasn't a true Sith after all. Oh, that's such that a good joke. You saved me. True Sith never die. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. You saved me. Are we romancing now? Nobody deserves to die like that. Nobody. I needed the help in fighting Jorak. Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I saved you for last! We could still fight him. I'm accepting applications for apprentices. Great. <laughs> you have sword fights with former professors? Yeah, totally. Are you trying to seduce him? Yeah. I always am going to say yes. Well, not the last guy. I wasn't trying to seduce the last guy, but this guy, maybe. <laughs> he looks like a young guy. <laughs> You remind me of someone that wouldn't romance me. Cart's like, who, who are you talking about? Cart's like, shut up, stay, you stay out of this. He's not a clone, so I don't think, ugh, you're right, you're right, you're right. He's not, he's not my type, he's not a clone. Excuse me, please tell me your CT number. <laughs> I don't think I want to kill him. You didn't murder me. Is that a flirt? <laughs> you should kill his son. I hate that message. I hate that message. Karth, I killed your son for you. Aren't we gonna romance now? Nobody deserves to die like that. Nobody. I guess. That's a good point. I mean, if you're gonna die, at least... Don't be killed by him in his weird little test. That's kind of... That's kind of a sad story. It's just like a bad ending. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the How fence How many people before. have you killed, Mako? It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I'm cosplaying. I won't tell anyone. Learned it from Blow Wall. This could be your chance to change your ways. I have to say this because Karth is looking at me. I have a pretty good persuasion, so I think we can. Are you sorry your son is dead? We'll bang, okay? <laughs> if it was Mass Effect, it would work. You mean the light side? I've never thought about that. Can you? Can you even go back? I your eyes so. aren't yellow yet, so I, I think. I've heard a lot of people. I don't think the light side Jahani is Johanny went back. But maybe neither of us. Maybe sit. you should just be a maybe it's time CEO to or something. Thanks, I suppose. And good luck. So you can screw people over, but not feel so darth about it. Okay, well, I got light side points. Aren't you guys proud of me? <laughs> I know, Karth is like, be careful what you say, because I'm listening. He's just watching. How you doing, Karth? Yes, what's on your mind? Do you know anything about this place? Korriban's a desolate world and a Sith planet. There's only one small colony here, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. Okay. You got it. You got it. What about you? Yeah, what do you want? Do you know anything about this world? Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, just look at this place. Rumor he has says it as we're in that a the leader tomb. of our clan at the time what? Mandalore did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. Do you have anything else you want to How ask? How is there always a Mandalorian story for Your everything? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. At this point, I'm starting to think you're making this up. 
but anyway did i ever get to loot your body loot my body i got light side points a ceo he'd be as evil as a sith <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was like, oh, maybe I should have picked something a little bit more mild. Tomb door? Oh, that's the tomb. So we're not even in the tomb yet? <laughs> yes? CM? Mandalorian and Sith used to be besties. Ah, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Be a CEO? It's like being a Sith Lord without the psychic power. So we think, unless they do. Unless they do. Are there any CEOs in the chat? <laughs> I wouldn't know. And wait, I'm the CEO of the Pillow Fort, so I guess... I guess I have a little bit of Sith experience under my belt. On it. Done. Sith and Mandalorians have a complicated. Oh, a clay urn? That's not what I was expecting. Can, can I have a complicated relationship with a Mandalorian then? Because I'm a Jedi. I mean, Sith. I mean, Sith Jedi. I'm both. I was a Sith. Where's my complicated Mandalorian relationship? Done. Or, come on, at least give me the, 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 the Republic soldier relationship. Like, I don't care at this point. <laughs> on it. Done. Come on, Kotor. So stingy. So stingy. Okay, anyway, that was kind of interesting. What kind of urn were you expecting? I don't know, something more grand. <sighs> oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The Bane trilogy does a good job explaining the differences between Dark Jedi and Sith. So, wait, he was a Dark Jedi? Mandalorians are monsters. I'm not surprised they were friends. Some of them are kind of hot, though. <laughs> no, no, not that clip! <laughs> you have your boyfriend cosplaying as a Mandalorian, while the Mandalorian you call daddy is cosplaying as your boyfriend. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. I think I've reached, like, the peak. I think I've- <laughs> I think this is the, the peak of KOTOR romance. <laughs> That's actually such a good summary. I love that. I love that. On it. Done. <laughs> 63 people watch. <laughs> Delete it. Delete it. Delete that. Or at least get it to 69 views. <laughs> Boy, I have to read this again. Boyfriend cosplaying a Mandalorian while the Mandalorian you call daddy's cosplaying as your boyfriend. That's so great. Tulak hoards mask. I'm gonna get some great prestige for that, I hope. What does it do? Can I put that on? You cannot equip this item. You don't have the prerequisites. Dark side. Oh, who would have thought? Who would have thought? It gives you resistance against fire. I guess Anakin should have been wearing this. So wait, I can't actually go in there? That's just the sarcophagus? the heck? There's no body. There's no body. What happened to the bodies? I want to see a Sith body. Okay, anyway. I guess that's it. We did it. GG. <laughs> uh. They both kind of look Mandalorian right now, you're right. My wife's boyfriend calls me daddy. <laughs> My wife's boyfriend calls me daddy. I could see that. That could be us three. That could be us three. My wife's boyfriend. Karth would have to be the boyfriend calls me daddy. Candorous. <laughs> I think I explored everywhere here. Yeah, he needed that dueling shield. 
Anakin needed some fire resistance. He needed a few things. He also needed therapy. A lot. Just like Boba. Although Boba got better. Seems like he's doing okay. Which one should I go in next? I think we should save Nagasato's for last, but I'm not sure. We've got Nagasato, we've got Marco Ragnos, and we've got Ajunta Paul. This one's supposed to have the artifact in it that the nerdy guy told us about, the archaeologist outside. Um, I think I want to do one of the ones up front. Ajunta Paul. Okay. It seems like these are kind of small, but maybe they're different size. Gallon lore, that's who the nerd was. Imagine doing a poll. How cringe. Complicated relationship is complicated. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that. I don't know which part that is. If that's me reading Renata's kisses comment or me saying which one of us would be the boyfriend, the wife, and the and the daddy, but that's canon. That's canon. Oh hey, we 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 resolved this quest. Wait, did I find the ancient Sith tablet? I didn't even pay attention. You encountered you encountered Jorak Ulan in his lair deep within. I know I've looted the the, the 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 headpiece thing, but he tested you for Sith purity. You're able to escape his strange tortures and kill him. Reporting his death might be worthy of prestige, but so might bringing to Master Uthar the ancient Sith tablet. I probably shouldn't bring him that if I'm like. I like your character. She kicks butt. Thank you. I like her too. Fahrenheit. I loved that meme that you put in the in the Discord too. That was like. <laughs> Karth was like, do you know why everybody hated you when you were Darth Revan? And she was like, because they hate to see a girl boss winning. <laughs> I was laughing about that like all night after I saw that. I should probably save before going in here. This is the one that you said, right? Ajunta? Tomb, tomb, tomb. Okay, well, last one wasn't so bad. I think we can handle this. Average plasma mine. Ready. You are ready. I know you are. Look at that. Barely a dent. Oh, you can't open that. I'm here. What do you do if you have no one with security Honest. skill? Done. Can you bash down a door like that? That seems kind of... Man, I want to loot this body. Right out time. Die. Here it is! Here it is! Here it is! Look at that! I'm so good! Maybe these enemies are just easy. I like being the, the lightsaber wielder with the... Oh yeah, you, you have a lightsaber, that makes sense. With the backup dancer blaster... blaster boys. Why does that sound like a, a Star Wars boy band? Do you guys want to make a band? We gotta think about our future beyond, beyond this war, okay? What are we gonna do? There's a droid body, that's kind of suspicious. Uh oh. Are those droids I'm gonna have to fight? Assault droid? Mark? Hello, Mark. I 
I don't think that means his name is Mark. Severed arm? Anakin. I should probably read this data pad of Anakin's arm. Uh, I never know which data pad. I think it's this one. Data pad appears to be the journal of a Sith archaeologist by the name of Vernon Gall. Most of it consists of uninteresting notes on the geology of the tomb's caverns. Final entry is as follows. Strangely enough, I found traces of Therangan in the tomb. There's an unstable black rock used as fuel by lesser races. Perhaps the ancient Sith on Korriban used it as a power source. What, coal? Uh, perhaps blah, 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 blah. it is volatile and dangerous substance reacts violently to fire. I'll have to be careful. Oh, or it's this one. This data pad seems to have once belonged to an enterprising young Sith student who had ventured into the tomb in search of Ajunta Paul's sword. One of his entries is of particular note. There has got to be a way to get past this obelisk. So this is because the, the Sith have this accent. Blocking the bridge. It seems to be made of some kind of unstable material. I'm willing to bet some kind of energy discharge will set it off. Blast of fire isn't going to do the trick, however. I feel like my accent just changed three times in this. I'll have to try some kind of explosive. I just hope that God droid over there is as defunct as it looks. So what? Wait, wait, wait. Obelisk blocking the bridge. Some kind of unstable. We gotta blow it up. Shouldn't be too hard. Blaster fire. Some kind of explosive. What? <laughs> MG Blair, excuse me, hello. Thank you for the five conscripted gifted subs. Conscripted gifted. And the crab rave. <laughs> How are you doing? That's so generous. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys appreciate your emotes and your badges. I recognize those names. Weren't the Sith a species before they became a group? I don't know. I would not know the ancient Sith lore. Do you remember the severed arm on Terrace where the Rancor was? Ah, uh, not really. Why? Is there something about that? I mean, I know there was a pile of corpses. Oh, but is that the one that had the data pad about? Said so they were, they were a Sith lore. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's so good, CM. You guys are too funny. French Canadian accent. Is that what that was? MG Blair, thank you. Thank you, thank Oh, we got to the sub goal. That's so So apparently they were a species. You looted a data pad before the one in the severed arm. Well, well, Fahrenheit. How the turntables. Okay, so we have to blow it up. I just hope that guard droid over there. So the droids might come alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know exactly what that means I'm supposed to do, but we'll figure it out. So we have to destroy that thing. I'm gonna save because this is gonna go terribly wrong. I just know this is gonna go terribly wrong. Obelisk. Obelisk. How the turntables. <laughs> Do you guys want me to play Swotor or what's that other one? You guys want me to play one of those? Oh, there's flying bats in the air. Oh, look at that. Is that a jump puzzle? Please don't. We don't jump in this game, thank god. Assault droid mask. Rune covered obelisk. I should probably look at this. Wait, did it say mask or did it say mark? Oh, mark. Yeah, that's mark again. Rune covered obelisk. So am I supposed to destroy this one or the other one? No! No! Thrangan obelisk. Oh. Container is empty. Looks like I'm supposed to put something explosive there. And then, let me guess, these droids are gonna come alive. 
Hello? Huh. So I don't really know. I feel like I'm supposed to go this way, but I don't really know why there's another obelisk here. But you can be a Sith and flirt with people. Being an MMO, it's a commitment. So is that is that the game where you guys said that there's a, like a main storyline you can do though? Yeah, it would be a big commitment though. I don't know if I want another. Okay, let's just put something explosive in this. I don't know what I have. What's explosive? Where do I find Karth's attitude in here? That would do the trick. What do you guys think? A sonic grenade? What? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's more content than The Witcher 3. Stop! In the whole thing? Or do you mean... <sighs> or do you just mean in, like, the main story? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like commitment. Uh... I don't know what to put in here. Maybe a mine? In a mine, in a mine... He said blaster fire is not going to do it, so maybe a mine. I don't know if I picked up any other kind of material along the way that I'm supposed to use. Because I don't always pay attention when I pick up stuff like that. Energy projector? No idea what that was for. I'm sure that was for something. I wonder what kind of artifact explodes. I don't have very good mines. I mean, what do I have other than mines? <laughs> grenades. Gr are grenades or mines better? I'm gonna try a uh, mine. Grenades are like a timed explosive, a, m a mine you could activate. Eight different main storylines. You can be a light side Sith. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what you're telling me is I have to make time to play this off of stream. What if I go and I play Swotor off of stream and I never come back? Do you guys understand what you're saying? Uh, okay, wait, where was I? Oh, hi, thanks Just for checking in. I'm still thing. a piece of garbage. What the heck? Paperclip, how are you? Thank you so much for the 19 months. Thank you. I appreciate that. Not, see, yeah, a nine planets is a lot. Is a lot. I'm gonna do... An average frag mine. Oh, hey. No, not Mark! No, Mark, how could you betray me? Ah! Good thing I can deflect. You gotta do the trick that the clone shot us. Roll it under the shield. How'd you like that? How'd you like that? Good thing I got blaster boys with me. Good thing I got the blaster boys out here today. Thank you, severed arm. Can I get past here? I can't go this way. What's the point of this? That pisses me off. I could blow up one, I can't blow up the other. I'm already destroying archaeological property. <laughs> Are these guys gonna attack me? Okay, I can't. Don't ask me. It's like something Jolie would say. No, you can't get past there. Don't ask me. Mm. 
lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. Well, what did that do? Did it move the obelisk down there? I gotta go check, just in case. No, it didn't. It didn't. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Can, excuse me. Um, what did that lever do? Um, I'm kind of concerned. I can't pull it again, so... I don't know if it did something ahead or if I'm like... I feel like I'm supposed to jump across those. Remember when you got... When I got what? Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. You're making me nervous. Red Griffin! Thank you for the follow! Is that a Dragon Age kind of name? When I got what? Sorry. I'm very aggressive. Master Speed. <laughs> I remember running up the hill, running through that tomb. Should I should I take the mine this time? I'll take one for the team. Oh, that didn't even hurt. <laughs> Who needs Karth? Oh, that's a good thing to know. It made some explode. Good thing I had the blaster boys though. <laughs> Good thing Karth is here. Karth, I'm so glad I brought you. He's like, why? Are you finally starting to be nice to me? I'm like, well, no, but... Why is there a statue? Is this gonna be a statue puzzle? Uh, corpse. Credits, nice. Well, let's see what's in here. I'm expecting a Sith zombie or something. Wait, that's it? Too long. Too long in the cold and the dark. Yes! I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. I was like, zombie, ghost, hey, we gotta get Jedi, something. Here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? You're kind of hot too. What line Karth has that <laughs> Carthage? <laughs> yeah. I was here once before, I think. Do you remember me? Ooh. I don't know if I can ask these other questions. Are you some kind of ghost? Excuse me, are you a ghost? This must be a Junta Paul. I was here once before, do you remember me? <laughs> he has the same model as every random sin. <laughs> yeah, well, it's sexier as a ghost, okay? What can I say? What can I say? Do you remember me? I do. And yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human. Thanks, face, I know. The soul. Oh, it has been so very long. Are you a Junta Paul? I had a name once. A Junta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants you don't of the seem dark very side. Evil. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. Sith Lord? In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> Sith, I'm so obnoxious. We're so obnoxious for every time they say Sith Lord. <laughs> I, I'm glad I'm not alone, though. Lord Malik was most displeased. Hello, Igni. Lord Malik was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He promised a great reward to whoever destroyed you. And look how that went for him. You have your boyfriend cosplaying as a Mandalorian. Well, the Mandalorian equal daddy's cosplaying as your boyfriend. <laughs> You have for some random Sith ghost. How much more complicated did you want? You know, the more complicated we can make this, the better. I love that this story keeps getting more convoluted. You were a Sith Lord from the ancient times? Ancient? 
Has it been so long? Look at Karth staring at her again. He's so in love. I have been here so long, so lost. I cannot, oh, that's so sad. I remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So, so wrong. wrong. You rhyme kind of. That's kind of cute. What do you mean by those we had betrayed? This guy just needs someone to talk to. Hello, Core! I know, I got both the hunky boys in my party. I'm like... We had this at the beginning of the game, running this, this team composition, and now we're bringing it back at the end. It's great. How are you, Core? The first Sith Lords. Like, this guy's... This guy's actually ancient. This is what we mean when we say ancient Sith Lord. Also, I'm calling them the Blaster Boys, so they're a boy band now. They have to agree because I'm the leader. You hated Candorous at the start. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I know! Isn't it great? Now Karth hates me. It's such a great circle of love and hate relationships. <laughs> And Candorous loves me now. Blaster boys. <laughs> what do you mean by those we had betrayed? Tell me who you betrayed. I want to hear the juicy details. Our Jedi masters. Oh, how tragic. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the he dark side. He just has side. such pretty eyes. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. Ooh, I like the we voice too. discovered? Did we act? I can no longer remember, but here is where we How came. How long ago was to this? To grow, and here we fell. A Sith Lord? What can you tell me about this place? Hate love relationships are my favorite in fiction. I know, they're so fun, right? Revan and the Blaster Voice. Yes, that's the band name. I love it. All my favorite characters I dislike a little at the start. I'm so contrary. <laughs> what a great arc. <laughs> I'm so contrary, I will always end up being too like, oh, this this person, I just, I can't deal with them. That's like what happened with Reyes and Andromeda. I was like, oh, I know what's trying to happen here and I'm not going to stand for it. And then I'm like, but I'm standing for it. Contrary. <laughs> You're being so contrary right now. I know, a Shakespearean nerd, exactly. That's like, literally, Maul also, so Shakespearean. It's beautiful. What can you tell me about the place? Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies. We revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. Oh, I am it, loving it, Kor. We were not the first to fall like, to the dark side. Like, I freaked out. But we had more power than those before us. God, they look Came so good in the elsewhere. armor. I can't. This game's from, like, 2003. That's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm thirsting after pixels from like 2003. The Sith were around 7,000 years before the movie, so about 3,000 years. I was there 3,000 years ago. Okay, Elrond, if you were there, why didn't you push a Sildor into the volcano? But yeah, the story, great. I love this game. I am like obsessed with this game, actually. I don't know. I don't know, it just amplified my recent Star Wars obsession. This was probably the opportune time for me to play this. I was hoping to see what I assume was the big moment. Yep. It was really good. I was, And also the confidence boost that I get now. I go around telling everyone that I was Darth Revan on the Sith planet, especially too. I'm like, by the way, I'm Darth Revan. And they love it. They love it. It's their favorite joke, even though it's not a joke. It's a joke for me, and it's a joke for them, but not for the same reasons. But I get like a confidence boost. I'm like, oh, that was me. I did that. I did that. <laughs> you know, wait. Yeah, let's hear Renaticus's update here. You have your boyfriend cosplaying as a Mandalorian, while the Mandalorian you call daddy is cosplaying as your boyfriend, and you're hot for random Sith goes and <laughs> two older pixels. <laughs> I love this story. It's my favorite. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> what do you mean? I like how we started calling everything cosplaying as because of the 
of the black wall romance too. So few plot twists have ever hit me in the same way it happens after so many hours. I know, and it's so good, it's so good. I almost cried too when HK was like, oh, I was your droid. I was like, I literally almost cried. It was too much, it was too much for me at that point. If you think that's embarrassing, one of my first, I can't remember if it was the first, first fictional crushes was from KOTOR 2. I love that, I love that. Please, when we get there, I'm gonna have to know. I know the foreshadowing. And then you look back, you're like, oh my god. Like, it makes sense. It actually was right there in front of you. Yeah, exactly, Kor. It's it doesn't feel like one of those things like or it's like, oh, it was like, you know, like the typical, like, oh, it was all a dream ending or something like that. Like it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, I know. I'm so glad it didn't get spoiled either. Honestly, honestly. And also kind of surprised because of how major that was. Like, I I actually didn't even know that there could be a spoiler that major. Like, I was so unspoiled that I didn't know. I didn't know there was a major spoiler. Like, I knew that there was a game, like a, a story. But I didn't know that it was going to be some big thing. A few people did. Yeah, I never saw. I never saw. You guys did it. The mods did a really good job. Thank you. Did it ever pass your mind that you were Darth Revan, or at least that you used to be a Dark Jedi or something? Um, I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I, I didn't really sit there, like, contemplating my past story that much. So I didn't- I definitely didn't think that I was Darth Revan. I started to think that I was somehow related to Darth Revan, like... If anything, I was starting to think that maybe I was, like, the child of Revan, or, like, their, like, ex-lover, or, like, their sister. Like, I was starting to think, or maybe, I was starting to think maybe I had been a student of Revan. I don't know. I was starting to think there was some kind of other relationship. I never thought that that was just me. Um, but I also didn't contemplate it overly much. Like, I sort of had that feeling. I was like, okay, there's some kind of relationship that was there, but... Um, it came pretty close to causing your chat. What did people say? I, what did people say? I'm kind of curious. They were just overly excited. Yeah. They probably said things that could, like, I don't know. I've also adapted to not look at the chat immediately. I try to, I try to keep my eyes, like, on the game. And then, like, I'll sort of look at chat a little bit after. Because I just, just in case anyone says anything mildly spoilery, it gives a chance for it to be deleted <laughs> before I look. <clears throat> oh yeah, when I didn't recognize Revan in the real stop. <laughs> it had been a while. Um, I'm trying to think, I also started to get, I think the night before the reveal, I started to get into the conspiracy theory. I was literally telling chat, I was like, what if this was all just a test by the Jedi? Like, what if this is my Jedi test? Um, and so I had a little moment where I came up with the meme theory that, that this whole plot of KOTOR was just like a, a test by the Jedi to be like, would you be a Sith or would you be a you know, a Jedi. Would you be light side? Would you be dark side? And that's not exactly it either, but I did throw that out there once. I'm so proud of the KOTOR community, at least for being hush about the Revan thing. Yeah, I honestly, I didn't, I never saw anything in chat about it, but that's probably also mod work. I know, I agree, Kor. Yeah, some people started to talk about Revan too much. Oh, I see. <laughs> and see, the game, the game cleverly doesn't do it. Like it has a, it has a good balance where it's like, it reminds you of Revan a little bit, but then you like, especially on your first playthrough. For me, it's like you almost kind of forget about Revan, and then it sort of comes up again, and you're like, why is this coming up again? And then you kind of forget about it again. At least that's how I was. I was like, oh yeah, Revan. And then I would kind of forget about it. And I'd be like, Pfft. 
so I don't know. <gasps> oh no, Fahrenheit! Oh no, that's so sad. Did she see it? She never saw it. Okay, okay. Because the other thing is too, some like you kind of get this like streamer mentality when you're doing a first playthrough where like like I said I just I don't look at chat the same way when I'm playing because now it helps that I have mods that are so vigilant about it but even even when you don't you kind of try to like be careful looking at chat like you don't know what you're gonna see or what you're not gonna see so sometimes it's better like especially in moments where reveals are happening to just like not look the hologram on Keshik. Oh yeah, that that too. I was like, okay, that's really good when you look back, Jewel. But um, at the time, I just kind of thought, I thought that Revan and I had some sort of relationship. That's what I thought. I was, I was like, I I didn't know that it was me. I just thought that there was some kind of other relationship there. Here it comes. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah. If you do catch up with the reveal, it recognizes you, which makes sense. Oh, this part. I hated this. Part. Yeah, and people don't like I feel like people that haven't been in a lot of streams or like don't know streaming etiquette don't really think about that as until you like explicitly tell them. They don't think about that as like like, they just get excited, and they just type it, because they're like, oh yeah, I want to show my reaction. Um, when it said your pattern was recognized, I thought, yeah, I noticed that, but I didn't think that that literally meant that I was Revan. I thought that that meant something like... I don't know. I, I thought that there was something I didn't remember about my history with Revan, but I figured that it was like we had like worked together or like, I don't know. I thought it was something else. I thought it was some kind of other relationship that, that had like put the two of us together. We bear no malice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's just, it's just like part of the it's just boundaries and like part of the etiquette that people have to get used to. Um, okay. Yeah, anyway, it's really good. I like it. I don't want to squish that entirely, but also chill. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let people feel how they would feel if something completely took them by surprise. Yeah. Also, I don't know. What did you guys, did you guys like see it when you first played? Did you, did you, did you feel like you, like did you, did anyone, did you guys like genuinely figure it out on your own? I'm kind of glad that, I'm really actually glad that I didn't because, uh, I, and I also feel like the, the thing about it is I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about my character in that way. It's kind of funny because the, like the things that KOTOR made me think about outside of the game, they weren't like coming up with theories of like my identity and my past. Like, like I knew that there were some unknowns there, but that's not what I spent time thinking about. Like I spent time thinking about like the other characters and what they were going through and like the quest ahead. So it's really kind of funny because I wasn't even sitting there in my free time trying to like solve it. You know what I mean? It, it just, it didn't feel like something. It didn't feel like something that I was trying to like imagine at the time. I didn't see it coming, but I wasn't trying to either. Exactly. That's, a, that's what I'm kind of describing to you. Like I wasn't, I wasn't like trying to figure it out. I was just kind of like, Oh, this is cool. But also when I sat there and I ruminated on the game, it was always on other things like, did you know that Anakin would become Vader before you watch the prequels? Yes. Yes, I did. I did know that. Which made it really painful too. <laughs> like, I kind of wish I didn't know. Although maybe that would have been worse. It came as a super shock to me. Um... 
Yeah, most people, I don't think most people saw it coming. Yeah, that might be a good idea to uh, Kaladinus. Uh, I know we have a command for like... What is a demisexual? Oh, you're, <laughs> you're right. In fact, we haven't had a lot of trolls in general. That's actually a good point, Sam. We haven't had a lot of trolls. Like, uh, pretty good. I had no clue back in- yeah. There's a constant burner question of like, who am I? They clearly wrote me as amnesic for some reason, but it wasn't plot relevant, so yeah. And then I think it's kind of clever too, because to a certain degree, we just accept as gamers when we play games like this, we're like kind of conditioned to accept unknowns about our player character. Like it's, it's kind of actually the standard that you adopt a character that sometimes has no fully developed past or like what you know about their past is pretty much your own headcanon or like you get a little bit about their past but then you kind of just like flesh it out in your mind and so it doesn't feel completely abnormal to play a character that kind of feels like that protagonist that that comes out of nowhere you know what i mean like that's very usual to us as gamers is like this mysterious protagonist that that has a whatever past and then we kind of decide what that past is but it doesn't always actually become relevant to the central plot so i feel like that's also kind of one of those things that you're just kind of conditioned to be used to yeah like being drag <laughs> being dragonborn in skyrim that's a whole different thing hello pegasus when i was 12 years old i'll never be the same it's so good you're the only person I've heard this say word, word ruminate. I love it. Oh no. That, yep, that's me. That's me. Figured out early on my playthrough. I kind of wish I didn't. Yeah, lay. I feel that's how I would have felt too. If I figured it out, I would have been disappointed a little. Well, not that it would have made me dislike it, but I, I want, I would, I want to be. I want to have that moment of, of reveal. I don't want to. I don't want to, like, have known that it was coming because I figured it out. I'd rather know in the moment. Used to be that guy who analyzed everything, figured out real time, hated it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's hard to do, too. That's hard to do. And for me, I think I, I ruminate on a lot of the things that are not so much about, like I said, like, I did think about KOTOR a lot, but it wasn't like I want to figure out KOTOR. It was like... It was like obsessing over characters and like interactions with the characters and memes and like wondering about the character's backstory and how my relationship with the with the with the companions would develop over time. Like those were the kinds of things I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking about what what is the truth of my character and my 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 shady backstory and you know, I wasn't I wasn't trying to figure that out. Oh, that's great, Robin. Hard for mods to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the reminder would be a good idea. Kaladinus, I agree. Classic Bioware had the best twist, like in this one, Jade Empire. The Citadel's the gateway. <laughs> yeah. Most of this playthrough. <laughs> Stop! Did you know Karth would hate you now? No, I'm actually kind of sad. <laughs> I don't know how he feels about you. you know what I kind of love I love that this game doesn't show you a companion like and dislike meter because I actually at any given moment cannot tell if someone is pissed at me if they hate me actually if we're just bantering like I love that I love that they give you a character to keep things open so you can fill the details your own purpose. Yeah. Yep. I thought it. I think it was really cool. I almost forgot we're in the middle of this discussion with this super sexy Sith ghost. It would have been wild seeing Karth's meter drop into negative numbers. <laughs> that was. That I am never forgetting. Like I have never. I don't think I've ever 
done so poorly with a companion as that moment and been like so actually hurt. Like that hurt my my real person heart. <laughs> that hurt my real person. <laughs> like my my real life heart. Like that's what he said and just like you've helped other people before. Why not him? Why not me? That's been playing in my head the whole week. <laughs> F killed his son the first time as well. What? I wonder why. Did she say the same thing I did? What do you mean? Came from where? Wait, what do you mean came from where? Oh, yeah. What do you mean came from where? That, yes. <clears throat> it came from elsewhere. So wait, I we were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. It came from elsewhere. Oh, wait. This is the... F are we finally going to figure out why everyone became a Sith? Why not me? Like, that destroyed me. And then he said... When I said, oh, Karth, your son's all grown up now, he literally yelled at me. I don't do well with people yelling at me. And he was like, I was like, oh, your, son, your son's all grown up, Karth. And he was like, shut up. You stay out of this. I'm never going to get over that. I'm never going to get over that. Super sexy Sith Shakespeare Spectre. Perfect alliteration. What do you mean? Came from where? So maybe we can figure out why they all became... Our oldest secret. Only... Only we would know. We lords. Only I feel like they should have made the ghost red instead of blue. From. Well then tell me. I don't know if force persuade would work on you. Probably not. Tell me the secret, because I'm charismatic. I've never seen a character so angry. Me either! I wanted to cry. I... I've never gotten a character that angry at me. Like, I've had pretty... I've had rival romance with Fenris. And honestly, even that kind of scared me because I'm so sensitive. And some people are like, oh, it's so hot. The rival romance. I'm like, I'm going to cry. Uh, and then I think I got a hate scene with Vivian. Vivian in Inquisition. We disagreed about everything. And so she disliked me and she... I unlocked the scene with her where she like starts rearranging my furniture. You just like walk into her little alcove and she's she's having people rearrange the furniture and that's like one of her one of her hate scenes. So I got that, but I think that's the most I've ever gotten. And you're trying to romance, I know. You tried to help and he asked you to stay out of it, then you have killing a son, why didn't you help me? I know. Well he didn't like my sarcastic comment. When boys tell you shut up, stay out of this. Ooh woo. <laughs> <laughs> he he did escalate the situation with his tone but he was just the thing is I've thought about that interaction a lot and it's like he the reason he's so pissed is because he can't handle that on his own there's no way that Karth on his own in that interaction with his son can actually resolve issues with his son there's no way without you doing a lot of work to intervene d that he's successful and so I think that's what pisses him off a lot too. It's like, unless you basically carry it, he's, he's done. It's like, no dad, I hate you. Imagine using force persuade. <laughs> yeah, let's try, let's try regular persuade. Like, you want to tell me just because I'm charming. I cannot. <sighs> it is a secret of so long ago. I no longer remember. He doesn't you even remember. who bristle with force. You must or find are you this lying? Place. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? I have uh, in the past, so probably, I'm sure. Images. I mean, that's what obviously happened, right? I see your heart, human Jedi. I see your power, your pride. <gasps> Stop! You, you will find the old place, the dark place, and you... You can't say that to me. It. My companions will turn on me. They're like, oh, cause she's gone to the dark side before. I knew she was gonna go back. And then Karth said, also, he's like, oh, if you go, he basically said, if if I can't help you, help yourself. I feel like he said he'll kill me. So I'm also still worried about that. Why? What is at this place? So much power. It is blinding. I I remember so little. Yeah, I got that. Those we had betrayed. Your fall. What happened? We hid from the Jedi. But it was not they who destroyed us. 
Is it not obvious what we did? I hope I did? can save you from yourself. We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets I can of fix each it. other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power, but no longevity. Eventually it just consumes How itself. poetic, Carl. And so, here, I our love his commentary. old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? Why do I... This is like how... Darth Maul would be as a ghost. Wait, who's that back there? That's creepy. I feel like there's a figure back there. Top ten ghosts caught in KOTOR. The Sith have fled and they returned. The Sith have thrived and are more powerful than ever. They returned and endanger us all. The light side must battle them. They fled and they returned. So much, so much time has passed. I don't want to give them too much yet credit. Yet we have learned nothing, nothing. What about your sword, bro? Why do you remain here? Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse. Oh, it's probably an evil only artifact. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain. I want here, it to be the dark saber. By blackness in death as in life. Cool. That's pretty that's pretty emo. I feel sorry for you. I need this sword you speak of. I need this sword. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I don't know. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. Your wish is my command. Legion! Welcome in! Was Ajanta Paul's significance revealed already? Uh... I don't know. Can you imagine if the Sith students listened to their founder talk about how much he regrets founding the Sith? <laughs> well, yeah, this is kind of interesting. What? Oh. Legion, thank you for paying forward the gift sub to Pond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for the little alert. It was super cool, even in the day. So we know that he was the founding Sith Lord, I guess. I don't know if they explicitly said that or if that was just interpreted because he said we were like the first. He said he said we were the, like the first group, so. I don't remember. We 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 were also to told some other lore about him. I think last week, from the architect guy outside. But I don't. I mean, not architect, archaeologist. A Sith lore. Welcome, <laughs> Maxim. Perfect. Man, wouldn't it be fun to be a Jedi or something and just be so troll? You guys, be honest. Could you be like a serious Jedi? They didn't say it explicitly. They said he was Lord of the First Group. Okay. So I did catch that. Okay. Fine. I'll gladly take it out of here. What do you want me to do with it? Sorry. Nobody commands me to do anything. Ooh, that's kind of sassy. But... Yeah, why are you commanding me? Who, who are you to tell me? But does that mean if I say this, I won't get the sword? I'm kind of curious. Ugh, I want to say this, but I also want to know what he wants me. Like, I want to know his motive. What do you want me to do with it? If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. Okay, In so it doesn't end, tell me anything. It is what destroyed This me. guy's very vague. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly oh my. my sword. <laughs> oh my god. But it has been so long. Okay. Do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine. And oh, that's what the statue's for. The statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. 
Great. And if it isn't, then you must die. This is how, how am I supposed to? Be. How am I supposed to know? I do remember one thing. Oh, my soul. listen carefully. Listen okay, great. Carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Grips the heart in fright, hearkens night, silences the light. That's a cool poem, but. Yeah, I'm Darth Revan. I'm Darth Revan. I can do anything. I'm Darth Revan. Sword. Buzzle. Lore is really cool. I wish I would write an. Oh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. I would be a serious Jedi. I would take a lot of hard work and discipline. I can't because I wasn't brainwashed since the age of four. <laughs> Fahrenheit, I love that answer. I'd be like. Qui-Gon, I suppose. So, corrupt? How would you describe this guy? Clear and precise? I said sexy. Same thing. Use the force? No, that's okay. I don't need a hint yet. You say an ancient found? Wait, did you say an ancient sword was found recently? Did you see it? No, I didn't see that faith shield. That's cool. That's actually related to the content. Uh, Sword puzzle. Let's try it out. I don't even know what our options are. I hope it'll give me the options on the statue here. Place a sword. Notched seal. Oh. Maybe I should read. Can I read these questions? Let's step away. Are there descriptions in my inventory? I want quest items. Okay, it's not a quest item, apparently. Equipable silver lined sword. Is this the one? Or is this something else? I don't even know if this is one of the ones. Long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow that becomes brighter as the hilt is touched. It's quite warm, almost appears the blade becomes white hot once it's equipped. Such a fire will be devastating against an unarmored opponent. Small flame impressed on the hilt. That's one of them. Okay. Puzzle wrapped in a mystery, <laughs> wrapped in an enigma. Infused into a corpse, said corpse was a ruler's body. Guard, bodyguard, mounting a rescue vic mission of civilians. Oh, that's so cool. Hello, Lego. Good short morning. Welcome in. Good morning before work. We're solving a puzzle wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in an enigma. Did I hear Qui-Gon scander? A sc scander? <laughs> I don't like Qui-Gon. I immediately got bad vibes from Qui-Gon, and I never regretted those vibes. I don't like him. If he was my master, I'd go to the dark side. Qui-Gon best Jedi? In the book, he's a racist. Who, Qui-Gon or this Sith guy? Qui-Gon has a lot of red flags to me, and I don't even know the, the lore. All I know is when I watched the movie, I was like, ew. When I, 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 I didn't like him. He's He didn't get Anakin's mom out of slavery. He didn't care about anyone but himself. He, he used mind tricks on everyone. He's rude to Obi-Wan. He, like, I, I saw nothing good about him. I, I hated him. He straight up went into the path of an exploding volcano to save people. That is wild. Legends nonsense. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so anyway, this one is fire, flame. Now where's the other one? Dim humming sound once activated length simmers with a shimmers with a deep blue colored force field. His hilt is the black of charcoal. Red baleful eye. How the heck am I supposed to know? What the heck is a red baleful eye? <laughs> like Sauron? 
Sauron, is that you? Uh, now what's the other one? Notched steel sword. Ebony black and notched along its length to give a cruel and jagged appearance. There's a strange visual effect upon the sword, which makes it seem as if shadows pulse. Ooh. A dark circle. Is this it? He seemed to... He's a Jedi, not God. Wait, what? <laughs> You guys sing. You're literally playing as Qui Gon. Nonsense. I'm not a fan of Qui Gon. I know. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't. I don't like a lot of the Jedi, though. Like, I like Plo Koon. So don't take it too personally. I like Plo Koon, and I like. My tentacles. They sense <laughs> danger. I guess Kit Fisto's okay, but I didn't particularly like him. Um. I, I sort of like Obi-Wan, but even so, I'm not, like, obsessed with him. <laughs> yeah, movie Qui-Gon. Yeah, I don't know any other Qui-Gon, though, so that's all I'm basing it off of. Yeah, Dooku was so frustrated. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna say that it's a notched steel sword, but I feel like I'm just kind of winging it. Dark circle? Because it's like dark circle, red eye, or flame. It said something about the heart and bringing night. Is it like the eclipse? Is that what a dark circle is? Is it like eclipse? I'm gonna... I don't know, you guys. I feel like I'm like choosing multiple choice on a test and I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go with this, this is gonna be wrong it's gonna be wrong I just know it I feel like it's gonna end up being the fire one I'm gonna go with option one the notch the seal sword wait I was right Bro, I was right? I'm actually shocked. Oh! Cool! Pog, me. So, where do I look at that? Do I just have it in my inventory now? I haven't even looked at some of these swords in ages. Like, where? When did I get these? Hello there. Why did he take a ten-year-old to a war zone? <laughs> right? Hello, Baker. Hello, hello, hello. Why chat? And <laughs> can stay there. Oh, why does everyone hate Qui Gon in the chat? I don't know. I'm kind of, I feel validated. Just kidding, it seems like most people like Qui-Gon. I think there's like one person that's agreed with me. Um, where's your hat? It's on the sand. No? No what? I don't hate Qui-Gon. Everyone loves Qui-Gon. Baker! With the hat redeem! Where did you get that great hat? Excuse me. Ah, uh, now I'm the Jedi I was born to be. I mean the Sith I was born to be. I mean the both. Both. Natalie would be so proud. Imagine trusting the council. The council is the council is pretty messed up. So I said I don't like most of the Jedi. I mean I I'm not a big fan of most Jedi. But we love going both ways. <laughs> In every sense of the word. Anakin would have been stuck on Tatooine forever. Oh yeah. But how are you doing, Baker? It's good to see you. I don't know where this... Did this go into my quest items? Like, where did this sword go? I didn't see it in my ancient Sith tablet. Oh, apparently I did get the ancient Sith tablet. Nice! Uh, I don't know where this went. This sword went in my inventory. Honestly, not too worried about it. Maybe he'll tell me. 
You love all the Jedi? I'm not a very big Jedi simp. I'm really just a clone simp. I could care less about the Jedi. Most of them. I mean, some of them are, like I said, I like Plo Koon. Obi-Wan's okay. Um, the others, I really take it or leave it. I either dislike them or I don't care about them at all. It's been a day. Oh no. Mos Eisley. Mos Eisley do the leaves of yes, glory and fall. Oh yeah, see? One. I that got it right, you guys! Take it. Take it and the other I'm so happy I got that right. Go. Was it supposed to be an eclipse or what? Me. Like, what was the sim symbolism with the dark circle? My darkness awaits me. Also, it sounds like it's the dark saber. I'm sorry, but are you a Mandalorian? There's no need to remain here, is there? I want to know more about the star map, please. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I don't believe that. Tell me what you know. I mean, this guy really hasn't remembered even his own life, so am I surprised? There's no need to remain here, is there? I'm gonna let it be. I think he really legitimately doesn't know. There's no need to remain here, is there? No need? What choice have I? You can return to the light side and end your torment. Wouldn't you also just be a force ghost? I'm a Star Wars simp if they're in Star Wars. <laughs> no? Wait, what happens? I don't know what's gonna happen. You just go to like... Does the dark saber exist? I don't know. I don't know. You return to light side to end your torment. I'm just gonna say this. Maybe this is a complete lie and I'm misleading this Sith ghost. Return? But, but I'm just gonna tell everyone masters. they can redeem themselves, they so I feel better about myself. Return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. I don't believe the light side would turn you away. You've suffered long enough. I suppose you're right. <laughs> okay, bye. Good luck with that. If if I could return, oh my master, it is. Oh, been this is so sad. So long, I'm gonna cry. I regret so much. I hate that. The whole, like, Anakin Obi-Wan thing makes me so emotional. I can't think about it. Okay, that was cool. Jahani has some dialogue there. Dang it. Oh, yeah, that makes sense for Jahani. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. Like, oh, I turned back from the light. I mean, I, I almost said turned back from the light side. I once thought that I, I can imagine it. She's like, I once thought that I was doomed to the dark side. But that's messed up because they were testing her. Yeah, that's true, Renaticus and Jolie. Oh man, I didn't, I brought the blaster boys. <laughs> I didn't bring my Jedi friends today. I've been bringing, I've been bringing them everywhere. I know, right? I love it, Fahrenheit. It's actually so chaotic it makes me want to do... Ooh, what are you doing here? I saw you come in here and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see you. Boyfriend and wrong. daddy. You're right. <laughs> who? Hmm, who? Chardon, what do you want? I'm sure it's something totally normal and innocent. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword so of Duke Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? <laughs> now that you have it, I just thought I'd really Okay, I love how sassy Karth is, though. Like, he's so... <laughs> he... I love his dialogue interrupts. You didn't consider, I don't know, getting it yourself? No, I think I'll manage with it just fine. Kind of you to offer, though. I don't know what you're talking about. What sword? Karth already admitted that we have it, so that, that that's not a very good lie. I don't 
think I'll manage with it just fine. Kind of need to offer them. Oh, but I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to I impress insist. Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. <sighs> what are you going to give me for it? You'll take it over my dead body. Just let me get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. Oh, I can give him... <gasps> I can give him one of the other ones. Do I even want to give him one of those, though? I don't remember the stats on them. But this is so funny, I feel like I have to. Like, oh, here it is. Oh, the Karth and Candor's dialogue is all new to me. Nice. I know, right? I know, right, Kor? I'm gonna give him, I think, the Vibroblade. Honestly, I have no use for these swords, pretty much anyway, so... I'll give you the Vibroblade. I kind of thought the Silver Lion sword was cool. I assumed you would be able to do something I'm not strong enough to do. And wait, also now I'm going to try to intimidate you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Qui-Gon thinks of the big picture. He would have had to free every slave. Well, he could have at least done something. I don't understand what your fascination with Qui-Gon Jinn he is. He was in the first movie and he died. I didn't like him, so I'm not fascinated with him. <laughs> I'm, you guys have me all wrong. I'm fascinated with, like, literally you could put, I would put literally any clone above him. Uh, but yeah, I kind of get what you're saying about Jahani core, although... We are not alone. Some things really about not Jahani alone. I really like. Maybe! Welcome in to the Pillow Fort. Thank you so much for the raid. How is Skyrim? Hello, hello. Tinkopedia. Hello, hello, Mary. How are you this week? Hello. We have the hat on just in time for this raid to keep my image to the public. You know, sparkly clean. Keep my keep my cosplay up. That was a great raid sound. Thank you, Tress and Flowers. Welcome in. Oh, the Alistair voice line you're talking about? So we are having some great KOTOR chats tonight. I feel like we've had a lot of reflective discussions as we're going through these Sith tombs, which is exactly the right place and time for it, you know? Sith ghosts reflecting on our own Sith past. It's like, it's like confronting our own amnesia identity as a Sith Lord while we're confronting actual resting place of ancient Sith Lords. Like, it's kind of epic. How's your relationship with Karth? Oh, he's sassy as ever. <laughs> but it hasn't progressed. It hasn't progressed or regressed, okay? he's He's got some sassy dialogue interrupts, but we haven't had any relationship discussions. So I'm going to pretend everything is sunshine and rainbows until further notice. Okay. Give him the vibroblade. See? I knew you and I could work this out. I imagine I'll be rewarded well for this. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Another time. Get wrecked! Oh, Carthy Ready. leveling up. Ready! He is level 17. What? I'm so proud of him. You help so many people everywhere you go. Why not my son? Why not me? Karth Trauma. <laughs> Nazi knows! Yeah! That's so good. That's so bad, but so good. Give him a fake. Yes, yes! Ice man, I agree. That was a pretty good move. You have to look at the lore to really see you. It makes sense. Qui-Gon was the one person always going against them and trusting in the Force. I guess I don't know the lore that well, but I just get bad vibes from Qui-Gon from what I saw. 
It's really cool you're coming to terms with your path in this. I know, right? You have so many people. <laughs> no. What about shut up, stay out of this. You stay I like how he said you stay out of this. You get bad vibes from every You're on to me. You're on to me. You know there's something really uncomfortable about streaming? <laughs> Is that you you reveal so much of yourself. <laughs> And then people start to know you better than you know yourself, and that is a strange feeling, let me tell you. That is a strange feeling. Okay, cool, guys. We got the sword. We got the uh, tablet. Uh, yes. We got two, two things left. 80s purple, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. That's why we know your type. I know. I was like, I don't have a type. I, I literally used to think I didn't have a type. I was in fact convinced. I was like, I'm Demi, my type is anyone. Can you talk to the nerd? Oh yeah, good, good idea. Hello, nerd. I found that sword, nerd. Just watch him be like, the vibroblade. You should have kept it. You, you have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? Um, because I'm Darth Revan. That's for me to know, and you... Wait, that's for me to know, and you to find out. <laughs> I thought it was going to say you to never find out. How was your week? My week was good. My week was good. How was yours? I was kind of busy. I was doing a lot of adulting things, and... Um... Yeah, the fall weather's creeping in and I feel it and I'm excited. I have a candle going in the back that's called like fall leaves. You guys probably didn't even see it. Hello, spot the difference. Yeah. Everyone has a type used to say I didn't have a type until some people called me out. Exactly, Tress and Flowers, exactly. Kind of busy, yep. Yeah. Except, uh, oh, look how cute she looks right there. Except I really, I really am not that busy, but I feel busy and your room looks so cool. Thank you. I have a type red flag. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Look at the time, already 54, should get going. Okay, Lego, have fun. <laughs> you have bad taste in men. I do. I really do. I really do. Okay, what kind of sassy remark do I want to make to this nerd? It doesn't matter, it's mine and you're not getting it. I got this from Ajunta himself, if you must know. No, this isn't the sword, you're quite mistaken. I like how it says that's for me to know and you to find out. Like, <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna tell him? Daniel, welcome in, it's good to see you. Thank you, Lego. May the force be with you as well. Dark side, dark side, light side, take your pick. I'm not, I'm not specific about it. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting Tressin, you. Tressin, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm gonna say, I kind of want to tell him I got the sword just so he can like, I feel like he's gonna freak out like, oh my God, that's so epic. Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still Sith lives? Sith Lord? Not exactly. Oh, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. Who is your mentor? I'm kind of worried that your mentor is like... Someone important. Let's go! Let's go! Which one next? This one? I think this one next. When your friend told you you had one, you're like, Lamoutru. I s see, if other people see this easier than we do ourselves. Like, no, I don't have a type. Although some people will be like, some people are very self-aware of their type, but. Third tomb. <sighs> I hope you're doing well, Daniel. He was what a Jedi should be for the most part. He tried to free Anakin Snow. He couldn't be fooling around on Tatooine all day. Sith nerd, I know, right? Can daddy. <laughs> I know we have the exact same type. Isn't that great? CM. I love it too because it's so validating and so toxic in the best way. Okay, I have to pee. I I have to go pee. I'm sorry. 
I'm single because I'm so self- That's healthy. That is healthy. I have to go pee. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm letting you down. Bathroom break time. Bathroom break. I know. It's a shock that I'm I'm human, you know? We can't all be... We can't all be Sith Lords with no bladders. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. That's actually a good point about Maul's bladder. Didn't really think about that. Trust and flowers, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. I just assume that wanting to date anybody is a good reason I shouldn't date them. That is very healthy. That is a very healthy mindset, Renaticus. Most people would not take that path. Anyway, I'm back. So, did I talk to this Sith student? This looks like the lady I killed. You should be careful if you're planning on entering Ooh. this too. It's dangerous. I've been fine so far. Why would he know about it? There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar oh, says. Oh, I think someone said... It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole army of droids protecting it. Where did it get all these droids? No idea. I think it's building them in there. Droid factory? Why don't the Sith do something about it? I don't know. I think Master Uthar has left it in there as a challenge for any student brave enough to destroy Weird. it. Weird, so... Supposedly, if a student actually succeeds in destroying the droid, they'll get a great reward. Lots have tried, but nobody's succeeded yet. I'm gonna have to... Kenobi. <laughs> Kenobi! Speaking of the man with no bladder. <laughs> Where did it get all of these droids? The droid went insane? Seems that way. They say that its audio receptors became too sensitive and all the noise drove the droid nuts. If you're planning on going in, I suggest you use some sound suppressors or something. Or you'll probably become a target right what? away. What are sound suppressors? Is that a thing I can do? Are you going inside? I... I don't think so. Yeah, she's pretty I can manipulate cute. minds and living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. You're right, Renaticus. I doubt yep. I could do any better than they could. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> See my point. <laughs> okay, so I don't know about this sound suppressor sure thing. thing. Oh, she did the salute. I love that. Um... 
I think we might have to replace the blaster boys. If we're gonna be dealing with the droids, I'm gonna need someone with a strong destroy droid. Jolie, that's you. Yes. That's you, that's you. There you are, there you are. Um. Streamer, Discord server, Lord. <gasps> would you do a Rings of Power watch party? That would be fun. Wait, that would be so fun. I've already seen the first episodes, but like, I'd watch them again. Look at me being tactical. I know, look at me. A belt thing. There's a feel, stealth field that dampens sound. Oh, that. Is that how that works? I didn't know the technicalities of how that worked. Um, I guess I'm giving him computer skill for some reason. So what do you have? Stasis, destroy droid. Let's give you destroy droid level three. Perfect. Perfect. I kind of wanted to rewatch. Yes, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. I would rewatch those too. And in general, like, even if I watch it before, even if I watch it before, I'd rewatch them. I like how you put from Lou. <laughs> I know, I know, Lou, I haven't seen Lou in ages either. In fact, a lot of my streamer friends, I haven't been around in ages. I wasn't wearing my glasses. That answers your question, Baker. See, that's that's the least concerning reason, though. Specific for this quest. So what should I do? I have to I'm get here. that stealth belt on? There you are. This one? Stealth field generator? This device enables stealth mode. A camouflage field that hides a user. Do I have to actually use the stealth mode? I haven't used the stealth mode since the tutorial uh or do i just have to wear this is this even the same thing combat disrupts the field i'd be down to watch them with you oh maybe it'd be just like old times it'd be just like old times with the lord of the rings watch party i know jolie's so good at He's going to destroy all these droids. It will say sound dampening? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I see what you mean. Does anyone know what... I don't know what item this is. Should I just go in without it? Hunter's license. Why do I have Hunter's license? Hunter, come get your license. You might not have one. Hunter! Why do I have your license, Hunter? I miss Bad Batch. Me too! I do, and nobody's hype about it. And I'm like, Disney, come on, hype up this show. It's so good. I loved it. It's even better on a rewatch. You don't have it currently. I probably have it on a different companion if I have it, but I'm not even sure I have it. Oh, well, we're just going to have to wing it. We're going to have to rely on Jolie here. But yeah, I, I'm actually really enjoying the Bad Batch on a rewatch too. Hello, Sith droid. Mark, oh, it's Mark again. Okay, Jolie, it's your time to shine. Destroy droid. Yes. Wow. I love you. Wow. Wow. There's a lot 
lot of enemies up there. Darth Malaxis is going in. We're gonna have to come back and loot. Oh, look at her taking Karth's job. Are you gonna heal? Oh, we are just not going. These droids are pretty mean. Oops, wrong thing, wrong thing. I clicked grenade. Okay, never mind. I don't even, I don't even. Please, give me a, hello? Give me an attack command here. There we go. Wow, that was wild. That was a wild run. Hunter, do you know what I realized, you guys? Also, I saw this picture of myself when I went home. Um, last time I went home, I saw this picture of myself my mom had on the table when I was young. And I was like, I feel like this looks familiar. And then I posted it on Fan House and someone said that it looks like, like a, a Pixar child. You know, like how Pixar draws children. And I was like, that's true. I was like, but it looks like familiar. I feel like it. I looked like Omega from Bad Batch. Like, and then I put the pictures side by side. I gotta show you guys. I gotta put this in the Discord or something. Cause like, I put a side by side picture. I was like, I literally look like her, except not animated and not blonde. Are you an Australian clone? I, I wish I was. <laughs> Are you having trouble selecting targets? I was. It's not coming till the 28th. I know, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm really excited for it though. It'll come up fast. I just hope they don't push it back, but I wish there was like more community hype about the Bad Batch. Hello, Lord Schaefer! Welcome in! I feel like... Uh, maybe I was just imagining it, but I really feel like I literally looked... I, I, I think I was probably like 10 or 11 in the picture that I saw at home. And I think that's around the age that Omega is too. But I was like, really? We look pretty similar. At, in, that, in that time in my life. And I was kind of shocked. You could use the tab key. Oh, the clones of Kiwis. Yes. You just picked up the belt, did I? <gasps> Pog champion. Thank you, Elsinator, for paying attention. Making you feel weak at the beginning. I know. I love it. She's a clone. Yeah. I gotta show you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna show you that, but oh! I appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output sections. It's I too late. For... <laughs> the of it's too late for that belt. My escape, oh, cool! You're the master the droids kept referring to. Since your escape, what do you mean? This is kind of fascinating. I didn't expect there to be a droid, really. Since your escape, what do you mean? A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark Seven. Hey, Mark. Prototype assassin droid built by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and hunting. extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid. Yeah, the combat music is going hard. With your assistance, I may be able to aid for good. Oh, okay. How is it that the Sith haven't found you? An occasional sentient has managed to bypass my droids. They were unwilling to assist me and possessed insufficient power to destroy me. What kind of assistance do you want? Although I have developed the desire to not kill, my programming is often at odds with my desires. <gasps> I cannot leave 
that program. Oh, sad. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those programmed instincts. Yeah, he does sound like Thane. You're right. I don't know if I have the skill to do this. What's the catch? The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If I probably won't fade, be able to save you. you. Can activate my combat matrix. Uh, I'll try. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not know the order, though I may be able to offer some assistance. I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes Great. if you make a mistake. Great. Those repair skills are one. My repair skill is probably one or zero. As you can tell by my ability to repair my relationship with Karth. What happens if I make a mistake? If you shut down the system out of the proper order, a shutdown will occur. You must use your skill to reinitialize the sequence, or I will attack. How hard is it to reinitialize? It is not difficult. I don't know what's happening. However, the more times that you make an error. Great. I need some assistance. I have safeguards within my neural cortex that prevent me from giving you knowledge of how to shut my systems down. You may attempt to a notepad? shut down these Wait, really? safeguards. Success will allow me uh -oh. to perform a quick analysis and offer you some insight on my program. Doing so, however, will alert core functions elsewhere of tampering and will make errors more difficult to fix. Are you sure you wish to continue? I could probably get a notepad. One second. My D and D notebook. I take D and D notes. I take stream notes on every comment you guys make. Okay, I got the notebook. Yes. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Open up the panel to my neural cortex, and I will show you how to disable my safeguards. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. Cognitive systems must be shut down prior to the emotional construct matrix being shut down. Uh, Uncle Robber, hello. I hope you have a good rest. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, we're here, we're here. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to take notes, but I honestly don't even know what to expect. I'm sure Jolie and Karth can remember. After that, I forever use Google. Oh god. Please don't let it be like the math one. Let's begin. Very good. What would you like to shut down first? Huh? Bro. What? Okay, um, cognitive combat core. This is so troll. Creative. Also, these all start with C. Emotional. Oh my god, my handwriting's gotten so bad. Memory, motor, sensory. So I don't really understand. I have to do this in the correct order. I and I don't and I don't know. Like, am I supposed to already know what what to do? He said, "Do cognitive to emotional." That's all I remember. That's all that he. I I don't understand. Let's do. Check the hints again? I can't watch the VOD right now. Also, I didn't even know those were hints when he was saying them. <laughs> we're just gonna have to deal with whatever outcome. Uh... Is 
Star Wars D and D. Not really, Wild Strider. I wish. Let the chaos flow through you. Thanks, CM. That's the, that's the encouragement I needed. We're just gonna have to go off vibes here. I'm sorry. At this point, what else do you expect? Yeah, we do. We do. We have HK. I'm gonna go with sensory system. Ethan, All hello. Systems reset. I am sorry, that is not correct. If you do not reinitialize shutdown immediately, I will become violent. Oh. Uh Try to reinitialize. I, I would have liked <gasps> Sad! I don't have the repair oh, skill anyway. <laughs> Shoot. So did he give me did he give me the whole order in that conversation? Oh well. No? All those people yelling about repair. I'm sorry, bro. He resisted. Oh no, that's not good. Uh oh. Never too old for this. Time Wait, we're actually getting destroyed. Why can't I use my force power? I don't have my lightsaber equipped? What did I do to myself? What did I do to myself? What is this? Or did they disarm me? What the heck? That's embarrassing. You asked for this! You asked for this! I'm, I feel bad for that droid. But you know what? Can't say them. Can't say them all. Now that must be nice, nice, nice. Well, what you can't help kill. Right. In another life, that guy would have had a good droid afterlife, I suppose. I just killed them. Never upgraded the repair skill, yeah. That would have been a waste of my talents. All of my all of my talents went into charisma. Great advice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm here all day. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. I've been good. How have you been? It's good to see you. Um, let me catch up with chat. Even as a cross, you can get enough to take care of this. Yeah, well, I'm greedy. What can I say? What can I say? The plus repair utility items? On it. Like, uh, I've put all my points into security and persuasion. Crystal sigil? Gauntlets. Ooh. Gauntlets. Am I gonna have to hand over these items to the Sith? That droid would have been HK's bottom. Oh! I know. That's how I feel too, Ethan. I'm like, oh, excuse me? When did September arrive? Hand over the Bad Batch Season 2. Oops, wrong thing. Well, Fahrenheit should be happy. I accidentally cast speed. Hand over the Bad Batch Season 2 and I'll, I'll suffer September. I think hopefully that was all that was in there. That seemed very that seemed very quick. You need to ask him multiple times for assistance. <sighs> wow. Until he tells you all it needs to be shut down, then you use what he says to figure out the order. Okay. I don't know if I would have thought that clicking it multiple times would have helped. I was like, whoa, I swear he only mentioned a couple of these things and there's eight of them. I thought there'd be like three. I'm like, okay, I remember him mentioning a couple of these, but 
Now I have a random note about that in my D&D journal. <laughs> okay, so there's only one tomb left, you guys. Let's- I want to bring Candorous again. Let's hope there aren't more droids. I already looted the, all, all of these, I think. Nagasato. Okay, Mayray, I need to work tomorrow. I'm sorry. I hope you have a good Friday, though. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for the raid. It's good to see you as always. But yeah, I also agree. And even if we don't do Rings of Power watch party, I feel like we should do more watch parties in the Discord. We just haven't done anything. I mean, I never did anything before that, but then we did watch parties and that was fun. And then I kind of forgot that we stopped. Mel Lem, Mr. 2187, yes. You've been called to the sand. I've been called to the sand. Watch parties win. That's what I'm saying. Uh, also, we'd have to figure out what would be a good day. But yeah, I want to do something like that again. I want to do something like that again. That was fun. It was a good idea. When specifically? Oh. <laughs> Nothing yet. Okay, Fahrenheit. <laughs> I'm nervous now. Shrimp spaghetti sounds good. I like seafood. Are you nervous that I'm bringing Can Daddy in here? Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Are these tombs it? door is locked and will not open at the moment. Oh. Am I supposed to report back in? About this? Is that- is that how we get in here? Is we're supposed to get enough prestige? Is that why- is that why you're flaming me? This is the one they said you can't get- okay. So I'm supposed to go back get my prestige and then wait 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 this is where okay this makes sense this makes sense yeah, Fahrenheit I knew I knew it was something like that made in the last year to five years ago I did play the witcher three when was the witcher three made how long no was that more than five years wasn't it oh shoot I was so eager I was so ready to go now I gotta go back and have what's his name flame me and say you're not good enough, you're not a Sith. Blah, blah, blah. Do you have any idea which day time you'd be able to do them? <sighs> CM, do you have any ideas? Seven years ago? Don't say it. So that's it. That's all my prestige I can get. I feel like I'm missing things. How about Sunday? Sundays would probably work for me. I was thinking Sunday. Uh, let me think. What do I... I'm just trying to make sure. Let me think. I think Sunday is a good uh, a good candidate for me. I don't know like what the second best day would be like. I feel like Sunday feels like a watch party day. Where am I going? I don't know. Where am I going? Wait, how do I get out of here? How do I go back to the 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 the, 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 the Sith? The the Sith people. The, 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 the academy. How do I go? Did you talk with you through a, a lot? Uh, I don't know. I talked. You've done the rogue students, the rogue dean, the rogue assassin, the sword, the holocron. Yeah. I did. I did. I 
I still have this Jahani thing. How do I re uh how do I get this threat from Zor to activate? Um Oh, those are my killing contracts. I don't know if I have other. Rogue Sith droid. Yeah, I failed at that one. So I think we did everything else. We'll get that later. Okay. Stay on target. Stay on target. Is this how I get out? I go. Wait. Oh, shoot. Karth, move. This isn't the time. This isn't the place. I thought I came through a cave to get here. But isn't the cave just to the side of the entrance? Oh yeah, here. <laughs> Mel, stay on target? Ha, never happened. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. True. Entrance to Academy. You guys just want me to be judged. I feel like 